What's up YouTube and Royal Army? Welcome back to another video by me, Future Prince. And today, we're gonna talk about Needle Queen. And I'll give you the info and I'll give you its moveset. So it's an info and moveset video. There's no Alolan forms or anything like that. But obviously it's a poison ground type if you weren't sure. And has the abilities poison point which is it works like static if if they make contact with needle queen they'll be poisoned unless of course they're a poison or steel type then it has rivalry deals more damage to a pokemon of the same gender so obviously does more damage to female pokemon then sheer force removes added effects to increase move damage so i'm not too sure what this one is fully it always confuses me. So it has... So anything like Bulldoze... Will, um... Increases that power. But, um... That have that secondary effect, like the speed drop or something like that. It increases that power by 30%. But then it removes those effects. So anything like this, like if you see there, causing a status condition, reducing an opponent's stats, or increasing the user's stats. So anything, so these are the moves that it won't work with. So if you're planning on doing superpower, don't do it on a Needle Queen that has, um, that has the move, that has this ability, Share Force. So, it also says to note here, it says if the user is holding a, a life orb and uses an attack that activates Shear Force, it will not take, it will not drop the HP by 10% from life orb. But it does get the boost still from life orb and Shear Force with a total of 69% base power increase. Holy jeez. So here's all the moves, obviously, that that work. Anything that has a secondary effect, obviously. But, alright, so, I'll tell you its stats. So its stats are pretty balanced. It has a 505 total stat, um, base stat total. So it has 90 HP, 92 attack, 87 Defense, 75 special attack, 85 special defense, and then 76 speed. So, it's pretty bulky. It's not the fastest Pokemon, but it's still pretty decent. And then its weaknesses are water, ice, ground, and psychic. And then it's immune to electric types because it's a ground type. It has one it has one fourth, so it's doubly resistant to poison. Then it has uh, takes half damage from fighting, bug, rock, and fairy types. All right, so let's see. And here's the evolution chart. Nidoran female evolves into Nidorina at level 16. And then if you use a Moonstone on Nidorina, it'll evolve into Nido Queen. So basically, again, this is a evolution stone Pokemon. So, to be honest, you know what I'll do? I'll go back to Nidorina for a minute. I'll go to Nidorina, and we'll see what its moves are. So let's see. So basically... Yeah, you could probably evolve it at level 58 if you want. Or honestly, I could have I would evolve it at level at level 50, just like any other stone Pokémon. That's what I would do. 
if you really want Poison Fang, you can evolve it at level 58. You can do whatever you want. But personally, I would probably evolve it at level 50. So here, so here's the moves. You know, you can use heart scales or whatever you want on it if you want those moves. Then there's egg moves. I'll go through it a little bit slower just so you can see. And you can make Needle Queen a pretty decent special attacker. I've done it before. I think the base stat total is just the average of most what Needle Queens have. There's the um, tutor moves. Here's the pre evolution moves. Then here's the HM moves. A pretty good amount of them. Four cut, surf, strength, and rock smash. Then here's all the TM moves that it can learn. Pretty good amount of TM moves. So. Not a bad Pokemon, to be honest. A Pokemon that can learn a pretty good amount of moves. I've always kind of liked Nido Queen. I think I prefer Nido King over Nido Queen, just because, not because of gender, but just because I find it a little bit easier to use for me. But that doesn't mean that Nido Queen isn't good. It is a good Pokemon overall. But with that being said, let's see what we can give to Needle Queen. You can go with Bulldoze for a ground stab move if you want. It's not a bad move. But I would personally go with Earthquake. Go with Earthquake. Right? And then for the, for the stab move for Poison, go with this. Go with Poison Jab. Because again, it has the power Poison Jab and Earthquake. And then... And then for weakness coverage, you can go with, actually go with Shadow Claw. That's a very good move, to be honest. That's what I would go with. Or you can even, if you don't want Shadow Claw, you could go with Crunch. That's another good move. Then there's Stone Edge. Oh, there's Rock Slide. You can go with Rock Slide, too. I would go with this. Rock Slide, Poison Jab, Earthquake, and either Crunch or Shadow Claw. Whichever one you want. I would say Crunch, to be honest, because you can lower their defense. Rock Slide has a chance to make them flinch. And then Earthquake is just power. Poison Jab has a chance of poisoning them. And for the physical ability, you could go with... I, I would probably go with Poison Point. Because you have that extra chance of poisoning them. Now for this, for now for Needle Queen's special moveset, this is what I would go with. You want to go with this. Go with Sludge Bomb. As a, or Sludge Wave if you want to. Whatever one you prefer. Sludge Wave is a little bit better if you're running it in double battles. But if you don't care about that, then go with Sludge Bomb too. That's a good one. I don't know if one has more of a chance of poisoning than the other. We'll find out right here. So it says a 30% chance for Sludge Bomb. It might be the same... It might be the same for, it might actually be the same for Sludge Wave and Sludge Bomb, but let's see. And then Sludge Wave says a 10% chance. So you have to figure out, do you want to hit them? Do you want to hit more Pokemon or have more chance of poisoning? Honestly, I'd go with Sludge Bomb, even though it's five 
um, does five less damage, you have that 30% chance of poisoning them if it doesn't knock them out. But also, I would go with Earth Power. Earth Power is also good be because, again, it has a secondary effect. And keep in mind that if you're running a certain set, like if you're running um, Sheer Force, keep in mind that a lot of those secondary effects aren't going to activate. So it says Hello. the user makes the ground. Yeah, yep, it lowers this target's special defense. And it's a 10% chance. So not too bad. Alright, and then for... And then for, um... Coverage. This is what you really want to do. I would personally go with this. I would go with flamethrower. Because you can take out those ice types. You can also take out grass types as well. And you can take out those steel types that you really can't poison. That's always important. And then also, for the last move, I would personally, I would go with I would go with this. I would go with... I'm trying to remember what else it's weakened by. Water. And then I would go with Thunderbolt, if it can learn it. Yep, Thunderbolt. And the good thing about that is, even though Nidoqueen's slow, you can make it a little bit faster. And things like that. So that could work. Alright, so that's what I would teach it. And again, keep in mind that this is my opinion. If you have a different opinion, make sure to post it in the comment section below. Also, I'd like to ask you a question of the day. And that question is going to be this. It's going to be, what is your favorite poison type? Let me know in the comment section below. And... Help everyone out. Let them know what you would teach it. Let them, but remember, be nice about it because we're all we're all here to help each other, and we're all here to to look out for one another, and and it's always good to do that. So, with that being said, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to please do that because it's greatly appreciated and it helps the channel grow. And we can put out better content and things like that. Also, if you like this video, word, leave a like. Because again, it lets me know that you like these videos. And I'm happy to put them out for you. And um, also, word, word, if you have not shared this video, make sure to do that. Because... You can only share it with social media, with your friends, with your family, anyone you want. And I'd like to thank you, YouTube, and Royal Army for watching, and have a good one.